to Adrian, Michigan to spend a week at the 2013 Dominican Preaching Conference. Before DPC, we had little to no understanding of what it truly meant to be Dominican. Our basic knowledge was limited to the four pillars and some stuff about St. Catherine of Siena. We had no idea how exciting and interesting being a Dominican could really be, or the widespread community across the country of high school kids that were just as excited to be a part of that community. Our experience was truly eye-opening, and I can speak on behalf of all three of us when I say it was definitely one of the best weeks of our lives. Our time was full of human thunderstorms, enriching service days, awe-inspiring Dominican um, saint and pillow presentations, and delicious ice cream flavors of a spotted cow. In addition to thoroughly furthering our understanding of what it means to be a part of the Dominican order, we met amazing people from all over the country and formed lasting, meaningful friendships. We did indeed fall victim to the California stereotypes, which included, um, which included being made fun of for our supposedly valley girl accents, slightly judged for semi-dressing up on our night out of the town, and much more. We felt culturally informed when we discovered our friends from Wisconsin referred to water fountains as bubblers and ATM machines as time machines, which stood for take your money everywhere. They made fun of us for saying, oh my gosh, all the time, and the fact that we got smoothies at a place called Jamba Juice. After our weeks spent at Santa Heights University, Catherine, Claire, and I are more than eager to seize the opportunity of getting our student body aware of all of the amazing aspects of the Dominican order and as excited about being Dominican as we become. One way we were taught to do that in Michigan was through a catchy and even effective slogan. Being a student here at Peshaw, on a day-to-day -day basis, I will hear someone naively declare YOLO before doing anything slightly impulsive or risky. I encourage you guys to, instead of living by the motto YOLO, Instead, refer to Lula, or look up and look out. One of the awesome speakers at the conference, Michael Pedro, challenged us to look up to God for guidance in our lives while also reaching out to others and the needs of our world. And by sharing this with you, I offer you that same challenge. Look up, look out, and get excited about being Dominican. During my experience in Michigan, I really enjoyed learning about how to live out the pillar of service, and I can easily say, that the service day was my favorite thing we did on our trip. The purpose of the conference is to learn about how we can preach about Dominican beliefs. The conference really emphasized that preaching does not mean giving sermons and just talking about the four pillars. We were told that living according to Dominican beliefs is all about preaching through our actions, and the service day was a perfect example of how to preach our Dominican beliefs through helping others. I was assigned to work in a Habitat for Humanity house with 15 other people from the conference, for a woman who lived just a few minutes away from Santa Fe's University where we were staying. We were all given our jobs for the day, and I was assigned to take down the upstairs chimney with two of my friends, and to be honest, I started to get a little intimidated because I'd never taken down the chimney before, and this chimney was humongous. Um, it was quite a process to take it down. We had to fill buckets with bricks that we chiseled off layer by layer, put the bricks in buckets, carry the heavy buckets down the stairs, and hurl the bricks into a dumpster, and then do that all over again in the 90-degree Michigan heat with 80% humidity. Um, despite the long process, once we got started, it ended up being a ton of fun. I got to spend a few hours working with my friends, who were both named Mike, from Illinois and Texas. And even though we were covered completely from head to toe in soot and debris and dying of heat, we had a great time working together. We joked around, had fun impersonating each other's accents while casually taking down this massive chimney. It made me realize that the pillar of service can be really enjoyable. It was an incredibly rewarding experience, and the three of us felt so proud about what we had done once we finished. The service day is a perfect representation of how powerful the Dominican family is. We have people from Illinois, Texas, Tennessee, Wisconsin, and New Orleans all working together to preach through our actions and help this deserving woman work on her home. The service day made me realize that preaching in Dominican way is all about what you can do for others and that you can have a lot of fun while doing it. My experience at the conference really taught me that living the Dominican way is not unattainable and difficult as many people may think it is. It is all about the simple actions and choices you make. Before going to the Dominican Preaching Conference in Michigan, I thought that being Dominican was restricted to just the sisters, and I had no idea of the immense size of the Dominican community. In Michigan, we went to different presentations of social justice teachings. 
One of the three I attended was about the Dominicans in Iraq. It showed me that there are Dominicans not only in the United States, but as a worldwide community. I learned about the oppressed women in Iraq, Now, 43% of Iraqis are under 15 years old. This opened my eyes to show me how the Dominican family extends its reach around the world. In Michigan, I also learned more about the Dominican family by meeting people from around the United States and learning about their hometowns, cultures, and even their distinct accents. Thus, discovering that the Dominican family is not only incredibly large, but also welcoming to people from all over the world and from every background. The following day, one of the leaders preached about what we had learned in social justice groups. We were challenged to learn about issues in our world that need our love in action. The preacher made us reach even deeper, asking, why do we respond to social justice issues like violence in Iraq? Do we act simply to please God, or do we act out of sincere love? We need to remember that our, at the heart of ministry is relationship. At the heart of service is relationship. At the heart of preaching is relationship. It's all about relationship. What an incredible experience the preaching conference was for the four of us. But my favorite part was what happened after we came home. I was able to see the Dominican charism come alive in these three girls. In August, Sister Carolyn invited us to be part of a retreat she was giving to the school's board of directors. The girls were invited to share their experience of the conference with these leaders of our school. And as they spoke about how the conference influenced them, I was blown away. They didn't talk about nice experiences or quaint concepts. No, they preached their lives. They shared their experiences of study and service. No longer were prayer and community theoretical concepts, but lived realities. They showed how the four pillars are real. How the search for truth is meant for them. How being a Dominican is not just reserved for sisters and priests. In these girls, I saw the earnestness and joy of St. Dominic the passion of Catherine, and the desire to love of St. Martin de Porres. I saw preachers. And this confirmed my belief that we are all preachers. Preachers are not just the sisters. Preachers are not just the campus ministry leaders. Preachers are not just these girls who went to Adrian. You are all preachers. You preach care when you bring donuts for a friend's birthday. You preach compassion when you comfort a classmate who is crying. You preach truth when you talk about your hopes and your fears. You are preachers. Question Ponder, wonder, disagree, hope, rejoice, praise, dance. Be the preacher you are meant to be. Girls, you are going to preach today. And when you do, I hope you own it. I hope you own your preacher identity, like these girls. Knowing with confidence that you belong to a special family of love and truth. That family that we call Dominican.